starting to the bottom left, I guess, we have the Protoss player for FXO Open. FXO Hurricane. FXO Hurricane in a 1-0 lead in this best of three, going for four, getting game number one, which was scouted and denied. But then uh, the Warp Prison move, beautiful, trapping the Terran player. So we have on screen now with 0-1 in this series. CJN2 Bunny. CJN2 Bunny. He wants to hop his way to victory, he has to win two games to do so. Yep. And, uh... I had a thought, but it's gone. I was thinking about bunnies. <laughs> no joke. Well, right now, in this situation, we have, uh, once again... Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, we were distracted for a second. Um, um it's, it's all fine. It's all fine. Everything's good. So, right now, actually, we have... Bunny in a situation where he has to win two games in a row. If he doesn't do that, he drops down to code B once again. And we already saw that Hurricane is definitely... I mean, you have to be really confident to go into a four gate in the first place and then to make such a beautiful transition and force your opponent into submission by your micro having the, the eye to see that there is actually a weakness in your opponent's play and immediately abusing it. That's quite something. Yeah. So Hurricane definitely impressing in game number one and Bunny has to step up his game if he wants to have a chance to go to the second round of the Challenge League. Exactly. He needs to fight like a jackrabbit. Uh, this pretty point. much. Pretty much. He's doing the old uh, Reaper expand. Gonna drop a reactor after that first Reaper's out, start a command center. I bet my life on it. Luckily such bets don't exist, so I'm, I'm pretty safe to say that. But uh, look, he's just gasping the lineup, he's gonna do it, I promise. And actually, Probe here checking for proxy is a very safe move here by Hurricane. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, Hurricane up oh, actually or going for the proxy, apparently. He could also just be checking for drops later, but he leaves the probe there, so I'm suspicious. That looks very much like he's gonna proxy something. Oh, in the main base already oh, going for the Twilight Council. I think I figured it out, Car. I think I solved it. Detective Wolf on the case. I think he's gonna hide the Dark Shrine, but now Bunny thinks it's Blink Stalkers but he's actually just going to hide a Dark Shrine, and that's pretty clever. By the way, my life is still fine, because he just made a reactor in advance. He might actually go for the uh, for the hidden DT uh, here, but still, if you see a dark, uh, Twilight Council as a Terran player, you're always a little bit cautious. There is the chance that there's going to be a Dark Shrine as well. Now what would be really cool is when he makes a Dark Shrine, the Reaper comes in while the Reaper's passing, he chrono boosts it. Just cancelling the Twilight Council and going straight for the Stargate. <laughs> a little bit too late for that. There's the Dark Shrine. There we go. And... I have a high solve rate in my cases. <laughs> yeah, Wolf and Captain Obvious, the two heroes in the esports universe. Are you Captain Obvious? Or is there like another one too? Oh, I want to be Captain Obvious. That would be so good. Well, follow us on Twitter. I'm, I'm at Proxwolf. He's at Captain... No, he's at Calder. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Obvious is awesome. Like Captain Obvious comics on the internet. Brilliant. Love it. Uh, there's no detection, and he's not making an engineering bay. He's making a... I mean, as a safety precaution, he should at least be in a position where he saves a little bit of energy on those commands. Yeah. Because if you see a Twilight Council, of course, you don't immediately jump to the conclusion that you will face a Dark Shrine. But there's always the possibility. So he's actually allowing the scout here. You can really see how the stalkers move And he fakes chrono boosting. Just like I said, he fakes it here. He actually Hurricane and I are like actually like linked minds right now. That was a, I mean, that was a really smart move at this point when he sees... He actually went away from the Reaper to make sure the Reaper sees it. He's actually just going to keep it. He's like, no, it's fine. <laughs> DTs are there. Yeah. Uh, Here we go. How much energy do we have on those CCs Warp Gate on research the hand? Just finished. DTs coming in three. He's making Steve Sinks. He thinks he's a blank stalker and he has no scans. He's totally tricked. Yeah, but if he walls at the font, it's not going to do anything. There's going to be a scanner, and that's about it. If he erases those two supply depots, here come the DTs. Oh, they get in there, actually, be, be, uh, below the command center. No scans. GG. That's, I mean, literally GG. He it's cannot kill the DTs. He cannot kill them. Wow. He will not kill them. No energy. 35, and on the other one, he has even less. 
There's actually 35 on both. If he splits them well, this has to be game. There's no engineering bay for a turret. He should at least he put them splits. in the bunker. What That's is he doing? Be. I mean, yeah, I think he knows the game is over. Well, only if Hurricane could still lose it. I mean, Hurricane could make the mistake of clumping the DTs and then once again eliminates them. Oh, there go two. He's just lost so much already, but he does have two CCs. Yeah. Never underestimate a Terran player when he has two command centers or even three. But right now we still have DTs in the main base. And there comes the second scan that he uses. Runs away, might be able, not quite. But another DT at the front, and now we have no scan energy anymore. Uh, so uh, even more mining time lost. Exactly, and he's he's spending money to lose it uh, to repair that depot. And yeah, you gotta be careful about courage. the siege tank though. It doesn't want to kill his own SCVs. And uh, he has his own Nexus up yeah. now. The transition is good. And I don't think that there is, this is a recoverable position for Bunny. He got totally duped. Yeah. Hurricane duped him so hard. Bunny should not be able to come back into this. He doesn't even have a star pod at this point. And we have now three additional gates going down for Hurricane. Everything worked out so beautifully for him. His timings were excellent. He hit everything that he needed to hide. And then once the Reaper jumped into the main base, he moved the stalkers away a little bit. Allowed the Reaper to see that there was no Dark Shrine in the main base. Faked the Chrono Boost. And from that point on, Bunny just looking at it is like, Yeah, okay, you're going to go for a Blink Stalkers here. I can't believe he's leaving those deep posts down. I mean, he's got he's got a turret, but nonetheless, as long as he get hurt, and he turned it up there. Uh, warp prism here for the lift. He better hope he's got. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a turret in his mineral line. This is the next logical step. Cloak Banshees is pretty smart, and is he going to go for an Archon drop? He actually just morphed an Archon. He could Archon drop. I mean, there's no units. And we know that he goes, he knows that he goes for the Archon drop on top of the siege tanks here. Yeah. There's absolutely no reason not to. There's I no mean, units. I mean, nothing. One Marine. That's Good it. Luck. Not for long. <laughs> well, the two Marines. Two big. Oh, the Ar he didn't expect Archons to be another. Those SCVs like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> SCVs to the rescue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is just, uh, you got tricked, man. This is the worst way to lose. I, I will say that again. This is the worst way to lose the first round of the Challenger League. This he is, is going to be raging. build that Wolf used when he didn't use Proxy Void Raid. Yeah, this is like my alternative strategy. <laughs> he kills Cloak. He has the ability to make observers anyways. And, uh... This is game five. It's time to type out. This is time to type GG, and there it is. GG. GG in game, Hurricane advances. He's thumbs talking down. trash. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was him saying thumbs down, get out of my game, or that karate chop was not approved. Uh, that was get out of my game. I think so. I don't think he saw the karate chop. No, I don't think I don't think so. Either. I don't think anybody saw the karate chop except me. I was the one who knew it was bad. But uh, that was that was really a cool sweet. cool strategy, like a really good sneaky, build. Um, this is what it looks like when a plan comes together. Yeah, I Hannibal mean, he, would be proud. He drops the the blink. He fakes the the chrono. Had there been a little bit more thorough scouting, maybe he would have found the Dark Shrine. Yeah. But still, you always, always, always have to scape Sands in this situation every time. He thought there was no need to scout anymore. He saw the Twilight Council, so later on he jumps into the main base again to just confirm what he already thinks was going on. Then Hurricane sells the idea. And at this point, there was no need for him to go anywhere else to scout because he's like, yeah, well, you're going for that build. I quite saw obviously. the chrono. I saw the research yeah. going down. It was pretty obvious. Well, I yeah. mean, it looked to him like there was no reason to believe exactly. anything else. So, very well executed by Hurricane. Great job by him. Uh, and he advances now to the second round of the Challenger League. We have one more game for you guys. We have another best of three coming up. And it is a Zerg versus Zerg. We have actually Songdri in the next game. And it's going to be a pretty good match here. Yeah, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to, to seeing it. how Koka's going to do. Exactly. Going up against Koka here, a player that we had in StarCraft in the Slayers team. Then when Slayers disbanded, he went and played LoL for some time. And now he's back to StarCraft 2. So we're going to see how he's going to do in the first round of the Challenger League. Just about five minutes. Stay tuned and we'll be back with our last game of the day here at the Challenger League in Korea.